Hello class. In today's video, we're going to talk about simplifying rational expressions. Uh, rational expressions, if you don't know, basically are fractions. Uh, moreover, fractions with variables uh, in the form of either monomial or uh, polynomials. So, before we get started with uh, trying to solve these two examples that I have up here of rational expressions, uh, there's a few rules that I, you know, we need to remember so that we can actually solve these problems. Rule number one is we want to expand or factorize the numerator and the denominator. And once we've done that, we want to reduce or cancel whatever we need to cancel between the numerator and the denominators. Now, let's go ahead and look at these problems. Here's a fraction. Uh, this fraction is a monomial, uh, simply because there's no pluses or minus in between the either numerator or the denominator. So now there's two ways to solve this problem. Uh, one way is the more advanced way that... Uh, Basically, you know, you look to see, you look at 36 and 42, and you say, well, what, what does 36 and 42, let's look at this this way. We can separate this like this. Okay, so we look at what does 36 and 42 have in common? Well, 36 and 42 basically, I believe, has 6 in common. So we divide 36 by 6, and we, we divide 42 by 6, and we end up with 6 over 7. Alright? And now we resolve this portion of it where we have a, a x to the third divided by x to the second power and whenever, whenever we have the situation where we have like bases and it's in a um, fraction, what we do is we subtract the power of the numerator uh, minus the power of the denominator and we use the same base for the answer. So our answer for this portion is going to be x to the actually to the first power or just 6x all right so that's a more advanced way and it doesn't really show you what's going on on how to actually solve this all right so let me erase this for a minute and let me show you another way of solving this and uh, we tend to call this uh, we tend to call this expansion all right and we're going to reduce this fraction by expansion uh, what I mean by that is we take 36 and the x cubed and we expand it in its prime numbers. So first thing we want to do is we'll take 36 and what we do is we'll prime factorize 36 like this. So this becomes 6 times 6, this becomes 2 times 3, this becomes 2 times 3. So now okay, 36 is completely broken down into its prime factors. I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. There's two twos and two threes. And of course, x to the third power is simply x times x times x. That makes sense, right? So we're going to do the same thing with the denominator. So now we're going to expand the denominator, which is 42. So let's go ahead and break 42 down. That'll be 6 times 7. This will be 2 times 3. And of course, 7, you can't break that down anymore, so it stays at 7. So the denominator becomes 2 times 3 times 7 and of course x squared becomes x times x. Now at this point we've either expand, we've expanded the numerator and the denominator now we're going to reduce or cancel. In this case we're going to cancel uh, one to one whatever value that the numerator has and the den denominator has is the same we're going to cancel those. So in this particular problem okay, the twos cancel. Now, there's no more twos down here, but there's a three down here, so we're going to cancel with one of the threes from above. Okay. Now, there's no more numbers that can cancel, but we do have an x up here and another x that can cancel right there. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with 2 times 3 times x, which is equal to 6x. And at the bottom, we're left with 7. So this is our conclusion. Now, if you missed any of that, you can always rewind uh, the video and pause wherever you need to so you can uh, figure out what we're doing. Now, the next problem, let's go ahead and move on to the next problem, it is a polynomial over another polynomial. In this case, it's a trinomial over a binomial. And once again, the rules are the same. Uh, we want to expand or factorize the numerator and the denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, this is a polynomial, so the way we break it down is different from the way we break this down. Uh, when, we're factor, when we're factoring uh, <clears throat> a trinomial, 
uh, in this case, the way we factor this is with a method called um, either a is equal to one factoring or a perfect trinomial square. And for this particular purpose, we're going to go ahead and break down the numerator uh, using a is equal to one, meaning we're going to look for two numbers. When we multiply them together, we get 25. And when we add those same two numbers, we get a negative 10. So our answer is going to be a negative 5 and a negative 5. And of course, this is x squared, so we're going to place our x's here. All right. That is another video uh, of actually factoring that we're not going to look at into this particular uh, lesson. But if you look at this, negative 5 times negative 5 gives us a positive 25, and negative 5 plus a negative 5 adds to negative 10. So now this is factored, and if you look, uh, this, if you look at the denominator here, right, this is not factorable. So we're going to leave it as x minus 5. So now we've broken down the numerator, and the denominator can't be broken down, so it remains as x minus 5. And of course, we've done this part. Now we're going to reduce or cancel. And so we look to see what is the same between the numerator and the denominator. I've got two x minus 5, so I can use either, either this one or this one to cancel with the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just, you know, I'm going to use this one. So x minus 5 cancels one on one. Okay. And I'm left with x minus 5 in the denominator. So my answer here is x minus 5. Once again, if you have any questions uh, on this video, uh, basically just rewind and look to see what we did uh, for each particular step. Thank you.